Hey y'all, it's Tammy, and my voice is crazy today. I have a cold, but with that said, I'm going to make some pintos pretty quick in this pressure cooker. It is an Instapot. I have about a cup and a half of pintos in the bottom, and so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add about a tablespoon of beef bouillon, and I'm using Nor granules right now. Um, I'm also going to add some ham to it. <clears throat> I have got this country ham and it's just pieces for seasoning and I buy this at Ingles and so um, I'm going to put a little bit of this in there as well and then we're going to add some water and turn it on and that's pretty much going to be it. My flopper. So, um, I think it'll be something good to eat, and we'll be able to um, have something pretty quick by using the pressure cooker for our beans. These are pintos, like I said. So now, now we're just going to take some water, and I want at least an inch of water over the top of the beans. That was about three cups, and I'm going to add one more cut to it. So we're going to add four cups of water to one and a half cups of beans. And now all we're going to do, I am going to um, add just a little bit of olive oil, not a lot, but just a little. So I think we'll go ahead and add half teaspoon of salt. Well, no, I'm not going to do that because that's salt pork. So we're not going to add any salt because that's salt pork. With the salt pork in there and that little bit of bouillon, I think that'll be more than enough salt. If you're watching your salt content, then leave out the uh, bouillon. I guess you could do that. But I sure do like the flavor it makes. This thing does not have a bean setting. So I think what I'm going to do is put it on multi-grain. So let's press that button. 40 at normal, if that sounds about right to me. And um, it should just start. Okay, it is on. I do have the steam on uh, closed, so it should come to pressure. Once it comes to pressure, that's when it starts counting down the 40 minutes. And But I wanted some of the water to boil out of here, so I took the top off and put it on saute. And I'm going to leave it on that saute um, setting for a while. And that way I don't have to transfer it and put it on the stove. But once some of that water boils off of them, then we can eat them. They taste really good. All right, as soon as that water level gets right at the top of the beans and the ham, you can turn it off and just let it sit there and stay warm until you get ready to serve it. So I'm going to dip out some and let you see how they turned out. It's a non-stick surface, so try not to, you know, get in there and scratch it. It's smoking, so it's hard for y'all to see. But if you want to see the color of the broth, it's, it's nice as well. All right, you can see that the beans are tender. I can smash them with my spoon really easy. The pork is nice and cooked, so you'll have the pork in here to eat as well, and um, they're going to be really delicious. If you like onion, just go ahead and put some onion in there too, and remember to excuse my voice today. Let's give them a shot. Mm. They're really good. I'm impressed with the pressure cooker. I was able to make these pintos. By the time it takes it to come to pressure, it has to cook for 40 minutes after that. 
and then it has to cool for a while. I actually released the pressure a little early, then I had to saute it. So I would say total cooking time probably an hour and 10 minutes, something like that. So it's still quicker than um, waiting on them to soak. I mean, they're really delicious. They have a wonderful flavor with that pork in there, especially. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did.